Okay, so now we have our FAQs and they're numbered different, differently. Now, suppose here we wanted to hyperlink to link to question number seven, just because we wanted to do it for another reason. I'm just showing you how this works. So we go up, that's the text we want to link. So first we need to give an anchor. We need to make a spot where it can link to. So we highlight number seven, highlight the question, and we go up to insert a named anchor. Now, anchor name, it gives us a suggested name, but let's call this FAQ7. FAQ7, and we hit OK. And you'll see the software here puts a little anchor there, FAQ7. Now if we go up, and we want to link to question 7, let's highlight this. We click on our link button. Now, link location, it allows us, if we look here, we'll see pound FAQ7. So this little pound symbol means it's a spot, it's an anchor on the page. So pound FAQ7. We called it FAQ7. We could have called this anything we wanted, but we called it FAQ7. So we hit OK. Now we have a hyperlink. So now let's go up and file, save as. This is the FAQ page. So we double click on that. And yes, we'll overwrite it. Now let's go back to our website. And let's go to the FAQ page. Let's open it up. Now this is the page as it would be viewed by everybody else, not the one we can edit. And let's click here, link to question seven. And it takes us down and brings us so that question number seven is in plain view. Now let's go back to where we can edit it. Now let's go to question seven. And at the end of seven, let's say back to top. And we'll put this in parentheses back to top and suppose we want to link from here back to top all the way back up here so what we can do is we can choose this first line and we can insert a hyperlink we need to insert an anchor first before we link to it so we need to put the anchor there then we can go create the link to the anchor so let's we highlight some text then we go to insert named anchor and for this we could just call it top so let's highlight all of this stuff and we delete it and we could just call it top so we hit OK now you'll see the software puts this little anchor in here but this will be invisible for other people it's just something that Mozilla puts there so you know there's an anchor if we scroll down now we wanted this link to say back to top so we highlight that we hit link and here where there's two different places we could link it to pound top I want you to get in the habit of typing this so it's pound top and here when we type in pound top this is a relative URL this is on the same page pound top now we could type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot whatever dot com and the link could end in pound top so it could be an absolute but this is a relative URL so we hit OK and it inserts the link now let's go to file we need to save it as our FAQ page and let's replace it now let's go back to that folder my website and let's open that file and so now we can link to question seven let's click there to go to question seven do you offer a refund and then they can read your answer and then up oh, I want to go back up to the top let's go back up to the top click here and it takes us back up to the top it'll take you to this is where our anchor was so you can create a little menu here where you can link to question one, link to question two, question three, all the way through all your questions. And on each question, you can link back to the top. You can also put a menu up here that says, you know, uh, link to the site menu, and the site menu is down here. So come back and watch this video if you need to see how to link using an anchor tag to another place on the page. Now let's see, let's I'm going to show you how to link to an anchor tag from another page. So let's look at this link to question seven. Let's click on that. And if you notice up here, we've got a link that looks like this FAQ.html pound FAQ7. So I'm going to cut that. Let me cut it. 
and I'm going to go paste that as a different hyperlink somewhere. So let's open our index page uh, over here. So we were editing here. Let's open the index page and let's go down and I can left align it and I can say if you have any questions about a refund go to this answer here okay now let's just make that here a hyperlink so we highlight here we click on link and now I'm going to paste faq.html pound faq7 so after the .html if you want to go to a specific anchor on that page you just hit pound and then whatever the name of that anchor is so here I this is a relative URL because I don't see HTTP colon slash slash www.whatever.com we just see faq.html pound FAQ7 and if you go to a page you can always kind of grab this part out of the the web browser bar and then you can just paste it to make your hyperlinks so there's our link we hit OK now we have a little hyperlink here it's blue and underlined let me go to file let's save this as the index page save as index and yes we'll replace it let me go to my website let me open this index page and let's scroll down if you have any questions about a refund, go to this answer here. Let's click on that. And look, it takes us right to FAQ number seven. It did not take us all the way up to the top. It took us to the specific spot on the page that we wanted. So you can see this is a very handy thing to do. And I can always hit back and go back to the page that I was on. And that's another way of using anchor tags uh, to navigate around websites. It's an extremely good thing to do so you can click and go to specific parts on different web pages so you could say hey read this testimonial here and you could link to a certain testimonial on your testimonials page you can, you can do a lot with that as long as you know how to do it then you'll be able to design your website around that fact so on hyperlinks these are the things that let you navigate around your website Keep in mind there's absolute URL and relative URL. You're going to have to wrap your brain around that for a little while and you're just going to have to do it a bunch of times before you fully understand the difference between an absolute URL and a relative URL. Uh, so if you need to, come back and watch this section of the video on hyperlinks and I think it should make sense to you after you do it a few times. But it's something that really is no substitute for you doing it. Just go ahead and do it and I believe you'll understand it after you do it just a few times.